What a horrible thing to tell somebody. You're butt ugly. It's like the worst. I, it's like the c word. It's like the c word. Are people still saying to that? like to like ten year olds. That's the worst thing yeah, you could possibly. But ugly. But ugly. That was such a hard like hitting line back then Ooh, in middle school. Oh ugly. my god. Okay. Bro, hit him with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Butt-ass. I still always remember he. Okay, Rudolph. <laughs> Where's that from? Don't. You oh, remember he when said I, it? when I had a pimple on my nose like right here. Oh, the- <laughs> That last dude, it was so. That was long. when you're. That's when you're. Uh, that was you're when I was younger. in middle school. Yeah. If oh, someone man. said that to you, they were like, "Okay, Rudolph." I was about to Damn. end. It. I was about to end it right there. <laughs> brutal. Everybody, get down! <laughs> <laughs> brutal. Used to laugh and call him names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they never let yeah. poor Rudolph. Oh, absolutely not. Are we recording? Yep. Oh shit! Nice. Nice. Cool. cool. I don't know we're recording. What, <laughs> we what, what, good energy. Yeah. Come on, fun. Good, fun. Good, good bag and fun. What is this? You oh oh my so dude! I've been good. drinking this every day for the past like two months. It's accelerator. Accelerator. Island Bro, guava. It ta- dude, it tastes insane, and it's perfect for people who have a sweet tooth. It, and every yeah. single flavor Whoa. is good. Like I was just asking Zane, like, what's your favorite flavor? He's like, uh, he named off all of them, and I'm like, yeah, I named like five, but they all taste. Kind of, it's, it's it, it all k- tastes kind of similar, but it has that hint of that like it's a thermogenic that, uh, too. Fruit. That's cool. That one's island guava. There's can also I, can ch- I hit it? Oh, yes. absolutely! Oh my god, try you it. Have a waterfall. No, no. Ooh, enjoy that. I drink that every morning, even for breakfast. I don't even drink water before. Oh wow! Geez. I know. And there's no sugar. There's like no that's artificial my, flavors. That's my favorite flavor. Wow. You want to try? I and I love. <laughs> I, I got. <laughs> I wait, grabbed why one. did? How did everybody wait, get one before we got in? Wait, here? that's mine. I. Oh wait, okay. You recommended cherry limeade. That's so right. I wait, did it get did limeade. it get sent to you guys? I haven't gotten any. Oh, okay. I thought I was the only one that got sent it. Jordan, could you get me one? <laughs> Try it, Heath. Heath. Oh, mm. what flavor do you got? Keyword. Oh, that one is like usually the first one to go. Sorry, like, this is going for so long. I'm so sorry, guys. But this is just actually a part of my. It's natural caffeine. It uh, enhances your metabolism. There's no artificial colors, which is great. No artificial flavors. Okay, Matt. There's, okay, spokesperson. I think there's also some plant. <laughs> my, man, my man went like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, some plant based thermogenetics. No, thermogenics. I don't nice, even. nice. It's some good stuff. You're welcome. I'm a sucker but, for kiwi. Yeah, it's really good. Let's roll. Actually, let's roll the intro. Let's go. Just jump into we're it. All, we're all high, 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 high energy, baby. And we're going to start this. Week. Come on. It's, it's Comitol, baby. baby. Woo! Ooh. Ow! Wow. I like how you left the headphones on the table. It was like it, I heard a it a lot. I more. Yeah, it was you. like a little speaker. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm going no headphones today. I wanted yeah. to. Let my hair breathe. That hairline's <laughs> looking great, though. It is. It's looking amazing. Good job. Dense. Good for you. A little thick. Little and it's like six. It's six months too. It's that's and you know it's only gonna get like like it's only fifty percent. I know. I like, can't, it's, gonna, it's gonna look insane. I can't believe that there was a doctor who said that they wouldn't operate on you. And like you, you know what? I've had the best results. You know, I forgot about that. I forgot about. But, but you know what? Maybe he was right. Maybe it is a little risky. I think he said it was risky because of the hairs falling out, but you've been taking really, okay. really no, good shit. No, he didn't want hair. you to look like Ben Affleck. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, well, we know who Mariah's all is. <laughs> no, he just told ben me Aff- the other day, yeah. he goes, I look like Ben Affleck. And I was like, why are people saying that? He's like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, Your hairline just goes a little straighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrity. That's status. like one of the only like lookalikes that I get that I'm like, okay, I can, I can be, I can be cool with this. <laughs> yeah. Um, when it was Jason's birthday, I walked up to say hi to his mom and his mom was like, Stop. <laughs> you look just Hammer like time. Ben Affleck. Oh, wow. Oh, all right. I'll Good. Play. I like that's awesome. Come on now. Hey. I like your um Thank you. Your uh what do you even call what do you even call that? It's not a, a jacket. Cinchilla, a pullover. It's a pullover. Pullover. It's a nice yeah. pullover. Thank you. Deus. I would sweat a storm in that. It's actually it super awesome. comfy. Really comfy. I love it. Looks good on you. Mm. You look good today. Oh, you the damn! He this shit. I'm the complete opposite. I came in like also like uh, workout <laughs> clothes, but um, I think you look fine. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're starting to work out again, right? Oh wait. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Zany Unfiltered. Woo! 
I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we all unfiltered. Thank you okay, very cool. much. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, you've been working out more, huh? Yes, I am. I um. So the other day, I Joe. If you guys don't know Joe Volpes, he's looking incredible. Dude, right? I know. Looking real he's good. Killing it. But I see him like eating. He does his mukbangs all the time. Like, okay, there. He, There's he a knows, way to do He this. knows something, right? You, I knew you were very, very clean. You weren't eating anything. So like, yeah. in my head, I was like. I need to do what he's doing because he's he's cheating a lot, it seems like. So I hit him up. It seems like. It's in my, uh, well, in my I, eyes. I, I do a lot of them with him. I think it's very like a one bite kind of thing he's oh, been doing Oh, so lately. he pukes it out after. Well, at the last one he did, I, I <laughs> oh. <laughs> he like blindfolded me and he just made me eat stuff. <laughs> so oh, so that's the Zila dog. You just <laughs> that's blind. his hack. But I, so I just assumed that I assumed, I don't know, but I assumed that he like cheats a lot and like, but like figured out the secret. Okay. So I hit him up. I was like, Hey, I would love to get your diet plan. And I would love to just like work out with you here and there just to like, just to be like kind of a part of his life. Yeah, so yeah. he can like, you know, give me some like some points, and pointers. Tricks. And he was like, yeah, absolutely. Blah, blah, blah. And, um, and coincidentally the next day, Ilya hits me up. He's like, hey, you want to try out the transformation one more time? <laughs> Round two. Yeah. And I was like, oh, weird. Joe must have told him. Right, right. Because I think Joe like trains with somebody else right now. And I think Joe was trying to be like, hey, I think Zane wants to. It, it yeah, seems yeah, like yeah. he wants to attempt it again. But just ask him. The Zila transformation. The Zila transformation. The what Ilya Heath did. What Natalie did. Yeah. What Susie's doing right now. What, who, what John did. I did it for three months. Quit. <laughs> Try one more time. Round two. And I'm going to just see if I can. I'm going to see if I can do it. What was the reason why you quit the what first What was the time? reason? What was it? Lack I don't of know. Motivation. You said it was I a think, lot of the time uh, getting up that early. It was getting up that early. But like now that I think about it, it, it could have been. It was mainly getting up early. I, I just was fucking. I could not sleep at night. And then I'd wake up early. I just was getting no sleep. But uh, it possibly it could have possibly just been like the energy too. I don't know. The part of me was just like I just don't want to do it anymore. I just quit. Right. There was just like no no way to sugarcoat it. I just quit. And accelerator uh, didn't exist then. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, it did not exist then. We are trying something new. We're not doing a low calorie deficit diet anymore. Kind of like what we did the first time. Um, my diet is now the hot buffet at Air One. Every <laughs> Um, so but it's not, I can't just eat whatever I want. Right. Cause I they got some good little enchiladas yeah, and mac I don't and cook. Cheese, right? Right? That, that food bill every month's going. <laughs> yeah. You're losing Woo! weight and money. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not like, I'm not doing it every day. I, I just said I'm doing every, uh, I'm doing it, but I'm not doing it every day, but I'm going to like put like maybe 50% of my like eating to that. Cause I, it's right down the street. Yeah, yeah. It's really, it's cooked. Well, I think it's just such a hack for people for like healthy food. Right. Oh, Cause yeah. I, I don't know how to cook. I can't cook. And, um, I don't want to postmates something. I mean, I did the meal prep plan, but like, why not pay almost the same price and get like hot, fresh food? Yeah, because once so you've had something that's been sitting there, even if it's the second day in your refrigerator, you're like, yeah. I don't want that. And mind you, I am. Um, it is expensive, but in my head, I'm pay, uh, all the training sessions that I'm getting is free. You're, yeah, you're. I'm getting a free personal trainer. I'm getting a, a free yeah. gym membership. All that is paid for. So in my head, I was like, I'm gonna put the money into my food, like an all inclusive. Type exactly, because eating for me is the absolute hardest. I hate eating healthy. It like I don't have fun doing it, but I'm having a lot of fun eating Air One because it's almost like I'm at a candy store every day and uh -huh. I get to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just having I'm just having fun with it, and I be careful I, with your portions. <laughs> I do yeah, no, dude, dude. <laughs> we, so he's having me weigh my portions out this time, right? And okay. <laughs> weighing my portions. Sometimes that rice is like three ounces. Sometimes that bitch is seven ounces, and it's in the same pocket oh, of the combo oh, plate. Weird. So you have to like measure it out because you never know if you're eating too much or not. Because I don't. I just yeah, eat yeah. the whole thing. I like I could eat three of those combo plates, right? Like I can't stop eating. Yeah, we know. So, <laughs> Did you end up buying like the Air One membership? Don't they have like a thing where like, you pay a year just to get like 15% off? I or? Have, no um, way. Dude, yeah, it's, it's like something a, It's something crazy. Yeah, like if you're a member, you get like a percentage off like of all your- Bro, I saw a gallon of milk at this grocery store is 20 something dollars. Oh. Dude, there's a gallon of water for like yeah. $30. Peace. Shut what? up. Yeah. World? I do not recommend grocery shopping there. Not a good, I mean, eating there is really expensive, but grocery shopping, it, it makes no sense. Just get your shit from Ralph's or Publix. It's, it's, there's it's no a scene. reason. Wow. It is. It's it a is. scene. It is. It's a scene. It's, it's like it's like a college campus. Every time it's you go- It's so interesting because on. it's all the people out here you know, there's like LA people that look like they have money. Yes. And then there's LA people that have money that look like they don't have money. Yeah. Right. It's that crowd that's at Erewhon. Yeah. Like that's very kind of like scrubby, kind of like baggy, ripped, kind of like 
almost like borderline homeless look, <laughs> but like super clean, like uh -huh. yeah. taken care of. Uh, you don't don't it's, talk about me like that. I'm I'm right like literally here. you going I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally my look walking into it, fucking that campus. That's crazy though. I said campus. I, it just reminds me of a campus. It does feel like college. It has a campus feel. But you so, just did. Oh, you did you, yeah, your Dexa right. So this is yes. What so, is a Dexa? It, it's a it's a full body scan that uh, we did with Ilya the first time around where it tells you your uh, percentage of body fat, how much lean muscle you have, your overall weight. Um, Would they put like, you in like a little like kind of no, microwave? It, 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 you it lay down. Over you. Oh, you, like you, you have to stand very still, and this machine goes very slowly over you. It takes about like fifteen minutes. Are you naked? No, you're not naked. Oh, okay. You don't have to be naked. <laughs> but um, that machine is so good. I actually recommend everybody doing it at least once a year just to see where you're at. It tells you everything about how much body fat you have, how much lean tissue you have, how, where you need to be. From where, a scan, they don't do anything invasive, like take no. your blood or anything. Dude, this machine no. is this mach machine is. Big, whoa! Like it's you so, know so it's doing what, the job. What did this scan look like compared to the very first one you did? Same thing, same scan. Oh, oh you mean the results? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost like we're starting over. Oh no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was so excited. We got a like, ooh, I'm like kind of got a head start because like I've been, it's been a year and a half. Train. Something's gonna I've be been different. Working out. You've been so consistent. I've been consistent, but like it doesn't matter if you're not eating good, Consistently right? Consistently in the you fridge, to, man. Yeah, you have to eat good. <laughs> Fine. No, dude, eating, dude, eating is like 80% of your journey oh, of your wow. fitness. Journey. Yeah. Like if you don't, like if you're not eating well, working out doesn't really do much. So when they pulled, did, wait, did you see like a 3D like mold of you like on a computer? Oh, it shows, like, did oh, you look yeah, like a Jimmy Neutron it, character? It's got your, like, it shows your muscle underneath and then the highlighted <laughs> fat around oh, you the can see my, You can see my soft pecker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, I, your what? Oh, you can't get it. Oh, you can soft pecker. This DEXA scan, the other one didn't show, but this DEXA scan, you can't you see, see like, your penis to like you, the yeah, side. you see it. Nice, well, nice, nice and fun. Thank you. See it. <laughs> That it is, looks uncircumcised in that for some reason. That is think, not you. You, do you look think more if we got that. everybody scanned and we lined up all the results, you would know, who's you who's would know who is who? I oh, think so. Yes. Let me see. So you can really, you could tell it's me. That could kind of, <laughs> <laughs> you could tell. But that could kind of confuse. No, Jordan. <laughs> but like, I could also that's think that's you. Scott. Wait, no, is that, that me? That's not you. Oh, that's just a person on the internet. Yeah. Oh, so, so no. That's Zane, oh, I can tell it's me. <laughs> well, I was like, damn, those thighs. Zane, you have, if you think that's you, that's body this dysmorphia. One, this one. <laughs> this is Zane. Oh, Zane, you need a chiropractor it? too. You're yeah, it does. Oh, my, you should, you're so the amount of Oh, yeah, you're, you're like he, this. this is, all right, you have some kidding. slight scoliosis. Let me, show you, let me show you. The amount of fat in my right and left arm, it, oh, doesn't, make, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so my arms. I'll tell you which one's fatter. <laughs> okay, we have a larger arm than the other. Yes. Okay, my right arm has nineteen point eight percent body fat. My left arm has sixteen point six percent body fat. <laughs> okay, like, that makes. So what I, you I'm a right arm. That, hey, that, no, hey. there's more fat in this, so I'm using my left arm more. Right. I don't. We'll see. If there's who less knows? body fat in this. I this? think it's just like where everything just like empties out <laughs> in you. Like, when I eat cake, it just goes yeah. to the right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, is, it is interesting though, because on those scans, it'll tell you like where you carry the the majority of your weight. It'll be like your rump would oh, have like. I wish it was in my <laughs> rump. You, I have nothing. It tells you how much pounds of fat you have in your ass or your legs or your stomach. Does it tell you how to get more fat in your ass? Because I would love. Oh, boo yeah. how, do you, how do you like. <laughs> I got no I wish you could choose yeah. where it goes. Like when you eat, I wish you could choose which body part oh, you yeah, travels to. And you know what? It'll, it'll come one day when we're dead. I think then you just got to start. Things. I think you just like start pushing it. You know what <laughs> like, I mean? Kind of like the, what's it it's called? Got, the, the, it's got to um, work. Just have fat oh, toes. The guava. The gua, the gua, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gua, gua, gua sha. Gua sha. The island guava. The island gua sha. Your, your body fat was at 25% total. Yeah, which is pretty much, I think I was off by like 0.1%. So what? I'm okay. the same, but my lean tissue is higher, which is good. So I'm a little stronger starting off, which is great. Like I ran for... I ran four miles today. I wanted to Good. kill myself, but Good. I wouldn't have never been able to do that. I feel like February. That's great. Your endur year. your endurance must be so much stronger. So than it was much better years than ago. last year. Like, yeah. When I see Snapchats of you just like running, yeah. I'm like that is not the Zane I knew. It, it helps. Years it ago. Help. Even just running just a mile. Like I was yeah. with Mario, I was running a mile every day. That helps. Even just little. Even running for like ten minutes get, every. I feel like going. it just yeah. Just gets your well, good. Gets your body used. To I'm it. excited for you, but dude, I am so sore. Like that. Remember February, the whole month we were yeah. how sore we were. It won't go away. 
it won't go uh -huh. away. And I like, I get scared every time and I know I'm like overthinking, but like, I feel like it's never going to recover because I, I keep working out on top of. I just the, started, I just started back up too. And I feel all, like locked my yeah. body. Yeah. Like as soon as you jump back into it and you're like in your brain, you're like, I used to be able to do this. I'm yeah. going to go back to what I did. Yeah. Can't do it. And you end up overdoing it. And then oh. you, you have to stretch properly hurt. before and after. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing that. So Are you taking nice. testosterone? No, it's, it's a uh, Ozempic. Ozempic. <laughs> yeah. That's the cheap. Yeah, I'm on the OZ baby. <laughs> the OZ. No, no, no. Ilya would never like do it for me. That's How could you do this to me? No, if he found out he would fucking like the whole doc would be a, a garbage. Ozila. That's yeah. the pick. secret ingredient. In <laughs> yeah. Zila. And I'm saying that just to cover my ass <laughs> just in case. But um, no, I am not. On, I will not be taking any sort of supplement. I'm gonna keep it all natural, like Heath. Mm. Good, good, very good. So three but months I don't know. later. What if? What if in four months I'm not to where I? Oh, I I might want to get that stab. I might. Is it get a that pill OZ. or is it a stab? I think it's a stab. Oh, so wow. are you not gonna be partying at all this weekend? Yeah, we've in got Vegas. A, we got a bad. We gotta go to Vegas, baby. I, I know. No, if Ilya said that. Um, this is your <laughs> last hoorah. <laughs> no, no, no. He said <laughs> every weekend. Um, he, it's uh, he's gonna like he's. I think me and him are gonna take both like one day to drink, but like he's making me insert uh, input everything that I put on my body, right? So every shot that I take, or anything that I drink, I mm -hmm. have to put it in my and I have to stay under it. So. I, I will 72 be 72 hours later. <laughs> well, it's going to be both of them. I'm, I'm going to be in the club like... <laughs> like inputting Yo, guys. but once you get Ilya off track, he goes dead. So you guys would be like... Dude, he's he's weak now. He's gotten weaker. He's gotten really weak. He used, he used to be strong mentally. like mentally, but now oh, that kid, you can get him to get drunk like that. Really? Wow. Yeah. Stressed, okay, what dude. is he stressed? <laughs> What's his body fat percentage? If you say yours is 25%. Well, he's probably at like 3.5. Oh, no. I, I, so no, that's no, no. like the hell, no. like. No, 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 no. I'm he's, kidding. He's probably right now. Like 15 say, or? No. Oh, less? 20? He'd no, be at like 10, 12. Yeah. 12. Oh, that. oh, shit. He's really, like, really. Real lean. up in the cut. I feel like his, his leanness was probably around eight. Like when he was like insane. That's like, wild. Super shredded. Are you joining any gym memberships or no, anything? No, no, Zila Gym, baby. Oh. Why Why would I have to go to a gym? I just joined Equinox because now I'm living with Patricia. I'm like, I don't have Bro, access to Zila all the time. Damn, dude. Well, I, I, was, I just don't like the year lock-in. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't have to, I didn't pay a year lock-in. No, yeah. oh, you, yes. you, you pay per month, but you can't cancel it. You, it they make you run it. Oh, and year. they're well, not going to tell you that be, either. Well, yeah. I'm not going to be moving. Regardless, even if I do move, I'm gonna have access to another Equinox gym, and I have like this Southern yeah, California membership. It just it just stinks after six months if you feel like, oh, I I don't need to work out at Equinox anymore. Yeah. You can't cancel. That's it, I think that's what it, it is a scene at Equinox. Oh though. yeah, oh yeah. I was West like, Hollywood? I felt like I was like a middle school, like going to a new school. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. Like, yes. like oh, when I parked in the wrong parking lot and then I go in, it's like my first day, and then they don't. But like the lady was really nice, but they didn't tell me like the rules are like this. I've only been used to LA fitness. You also just like jumped into the most like high end gym. Yes. You know these, so, like, that's, not, that's not entry level seen. gym. You know what yeah. I mean? I, the, the most embarrassing thing I did and like, cause LA fitness, it was like just the sauna and you just went in at the sauna. I love LA is, fitness. It, there's is a steam room though. And you know, they give you fresh towels and all this stuff. I didn't know, but I look into this steam room and it's just steamed up and I'm like, Okay, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> I go in, everybody is like in towels. And I'm, dude, in my like no. sweats, I have my like shirt off, I have like my headphones on, and I'm just like, and, it, yeah. and the thing is, I sit down and I just realize, and I'm wearing my shoes. <laughs> And I realize I am not wearing what everyone yeah, else is this wearing. Ain't LA Fitness, baby. No. And then I realized I just sat down. I can't just like be like get up and embarrass yeah, yeah. myself. So I'm like, I sat there for ten minutes and just <laughs> embarrassment and suffered. And I know that they were just judging me. Here's the thing. What I don't like about those gyms is the whole like I don't like a gym where you have to feel like you have to like you're in your house. Like you have to change, you have to shower, you have to get in a towel. What like I think it's because they charge so much. They want you to feel like it's your second home where right, they want right. to, they want you to spend like three hours in there. But I want to be in and out. But at a, at, a, a, a lot gym. of the people who do like the full showering and stuff, those are people who are like, are working nearby and they're just going there for work. Yeah. And so they give you like all the lotions and shaving creams I and razors. To, and It was like three to four hours I was there every day when I was doing that shit. Oh, in because the I, wait, I, Studio City or West Hollywood? At the uh, Equinox in Encino. Oh, Encino, Encino. Mm. So we'd, like, we would go, we'd we'd run, then we'd lift, then we'd go like do abs upstairs, and then we'd go sit in the sauna, and then it'd be a shower, 
Then you come out and get changed for the day, and you put on your stuff. They got like the little cologne section, you know, yeah. the shaving stuff. It's a lifestyle. It was a lot. It's wild because like that's what? a full time job. Yeah, it working is. Out there. It is. And, and there's like big celebs who go to the West Hollywood one. Like apparently Will Ferrell like works out there, which I'm like, wait, huh? R- How what? are you, Will Ferrell? Don't you have a private gym <laughs> in your home? If I was Will Ferrell, I would not work out at in, an Equinox. No, not you're in front way of all too those famous. People. No, <laughs> have a private trainer come to my house. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast. Dor- DoorDash. Summer is just around the corner and it might just be the best one yet thanks to Summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash. With the Dash Pass membership, you can save big now through July 19th on swimsuits, beach snacks, sunscreen, and more. And with the Summer of Dash Pass, you'll enjoy $0 delivery fees and reduced service fees on all eligible orders, making it easier and more affordable than ever to stock up on all your favorite summertime essentials. But that's not all. You'll also get access to thousands of offers nationwide, ensuring that this summer is one to remember. So kick back, relax, and let Dash Pass help you experience the best of your neighborhood or less. Summer of Dash Pass is a once-a-year event you don't want to miss. Thanks to the awesome chance to get special access to members-only events, whether you're into sports, music, or just great snacks. Get ready to lower your costs and raise the bar this summer with limited edition drops and exclusive items to level up all season long. Experience your summer like no other. Live your best summer with a Dash Pass membership from DoorDash today. Sign up for Dash Pass now and you'll get your first month free. Plus, when you use our promo code HEATHSUMMER, get 50% off up to $10 value when you spend and $15 or more on your next Dash Pass order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Heath Summer. That's 50% off when you spend $10 or more on your next Dash Pass order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Heath Summer. What a tongue twister. Don't forget code Heath Summer for 50% off your next order. Subject to change, terms apply. Thank you so much, DoorDash, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. Zane, was that an Apple Watch that you brought in here? Yes, it died. So I couldn't wear it. I, how do you like it? Did you I, buy the fancy I, I, one? I, well, I the ultra, no. the ultra, like the one with the orange no, on it. No, no, no. Ass. I just got like I got the, like the cheapest basic, basic one. Okay. Um, I'm I pretty much using it only to like track my um movement. <laughs> you know, just okay. to, for the next. But I do like it. Like I love that. Like the, the when a text, text message, comes up, I look right. at it and I read it immediately. The texts come in here now. They don't even uh, ping on my phone it hits anymore. Your watch first. Oh. Huh? Yeah. I, I would do. I was so confused. I'm like. My phone's broken now. I just hate fucking. charging it. Or like, it's always such a fucking thing, like charging. You shouldn't have to charge the, your the watch. The annoying part is like, you want it to like track your sleep, but like it dies by the end of the day. Like yeah. you get low and then you need to charge it overnight. And then I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see the new Apple product? Yes. Bro, that's insane. I didn't think we were going to see that for another at called? least it's five years. The Vision Pro, Apple Vision Pro? I think Apple, Apple, Vision, Apple Pro. Vision Pro. Uh, already yeah. calling it a Pro. Remember we had iPhone and then we had iPhone iMax Pro or it Mac Pro. Right. Like, I, scary good. Yeah. How, but, did you see the commercial for- uh, Yeah, I watched the whole thing on it. I'm it, scared. It, 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 it's like a little scary. It's crazy how it enhances what you're looking at already. Like it's not like a whole world anymore. It's very interesting. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Well, it's still for the price point of $3500. Dollars, it basically I mean, kind of does what the the Oculus does except like the full vision viewing and all of that. Yeah. And it's Apple related. It's your whole social life integrated. But I do think the price is way too high. I think it's crazy that you're able, we're all able to sit in this room on these Apple vision pros. It like doesn't we, like leave your house. Okay, right? but one of us have to be in here, they right? Didn't, they didn't show anybody like using it like outside to like walk around yeah. really. Like you, th- I'm guessing you can, but the whole thing is like more like display setup. Yeah. So if you want to have like your like workflow space, that would help like our, that. our backs more, right? We yeah. can lay down. What, yeah. I, what I just found out today about it is that you're not looking through it. My whole, like, I thought it was like a glass that you're looking through and it, oh, no, adds it has onto cameras it. on it that it's projects. It's cameras looks. that make it feel like you're in your room. In it, yeah. Like you could be in like a video. So like when the video is playing, you could like stretch it out and you're. No, what? I'm saying like everything behind that. Like, you know how you would have like the fake, like looking like TV in the it. The cameras yeah. are really accurate see, to see it. Like it's showing cameras in the room. So you're not like l- looking through it. Does that make sense? I, yeah. I feel they skipped a lot of like products. you see how it shows eyes on the front of it look jordan turn it that is actually solid that's not your eyes yeah, it's it's a, it's a screen yeah oh. does that make sense it, yeah. yeah yeah it does make sense okay yeah so interesting doesn't it seem like they jumped a few products yeah like it was like, like they went too soon. all the way out well they had to compete though because like vr uh uh but it's it seems it's, like the biggest competitions like Facebook and Meta and like mm-hmm. Oculus, they had 
to put out something. And that's the thing is they had years and years of delay on the VR. And now it finally had to come like out. This guy, I feel like this the hype this is getting right now is it, on a on pretty, a plane though. When I saw the girl on the plane, I'm like, that's my vibe. Oh shit! Put that on, on a, a plane, plane would yeah. be insane. And then it turned everything around it into like clouds, so it's just a floating TV <gasps> no. in the middle of clouds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see crazy. a bunch of people with the goggles though. That scares me. Uh, yeah. When they're moving their hands, with Watch the guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Oh my, my god, sir, sir, do you <laughs> want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> just very my stomach. That's but you know what? It does look really nice. It looks nice, and it's only going to get better. This is just like the first generation. And it's but two hours of battery battery life though. Without oh, the really? thing plugged in, mobile. Yeah. Without the, oh, it's uh, like a laptop. Yeah. yeah you I, just I, have I think they're scanning your brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that you like navigate it with your eyes. I hope it's well ventilated because the thing about the Oculus, when you play oh, that, it would just you'd be like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you would just get heated in that. That yeah. shit would be dripping too. The foam on it. Oh yeah. I know everyone keeps saying, "Oh, it's like Black Mirror," but this this one this is literally that one episode with the guy that puts the goggles on and he's in a haunted house. Right? Remember that one? Okay. Yeah. That's I. I think that's what this is. I just that don't kind of mimicking. I don't think it's something that seems like a necessity. Right. That's where I'm at. Oh no. I, I think, I think so. it's more. No, it's definitely more fun. Yeah, I, I see this it's as more home more, entertainment, more home entertainment, and yeah. people who work from home and just want to. It's like getting a Wii. It's like getting a Wii or a PlayStation or Xbox. That's how I see it. But you know, people said it that about seems, the iPad too. That like no one was going to use that, yeah. and now and everybody it has seems iPads. It's easier just to like sit on a computer than for me to pinch this magic rolling. Yeah, I, I guess know. so. But, but I know, but that's that's kind of like that. But this that's also like my grandma telling me. Well, I don't need an iPhone when I just have the flip phone. It has when everything I have I need. a book. It's like the <laughs> same thing. I think like these uh, younger kids are growing up. They grew up with an iPhone. So th like what they grew up with <laughs> is like something insane already in their hand. Right. So this is just like, oh, I kids are probably not freaking out about this. Mo who's freaking out more is like people like us. And, you know, I think it's really cool. Like yeah. I'm, I'm excited to try it out. And with the M2 chip, that's got to be so fast. But that looks so dangerous to be on your head. <laughs> just like all that shit sitting right here at your yeah. eyes. Oh God. There's, I mean, there's got, there's going to be one moment where it explodes on someone's head. It, it, it's right, like, no, it's, it's kind of like happening. Hoverboards. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Something's going to happen. Someone's going to have a seizure. Some like the Samsung will happen. happen. The Samsung's yeah. blowing up in people's pockets. Right. It's just these like melting. Something eyes. will happen. I'm just, I just wonder what it's going to be. The freakiest like, thing is like that you, you don't see anybody when you're in the zone, but if someone comes up to you, they like appear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, but that's like, like if we're like if I was in this room and none of you were in here, if you sat on your couches, you could be sitting right here and I could talk to all of you guys just like this. That's really crazy. Someone's gonna be like watching porn and then like their mom. Comes <laughs> oh, wait, up, I saw like, something. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yo, people saying. are gonna be using this for some wrong stuff. Oh yeah. On the um when you do like a FaceTime or whatever, if you're using it, you flip it around and scan your face like this so it has like every angle of you so when somebody else is using it and they're looking at you it's a artificial intelligence version of you that matches oh, that like as sick. you're talking oh crazy. wow yeah 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 you know it's, what i mean because like if it's your on avatar FaceTime, you'd be like looking at yourself and it, you'd have a camera there's no camera on you so it scans you so other people see a scanned version animated can we make it game. more attractive <laughs> jordan was like jordan was like i'm gonna scan the hottest girl i can find <laughs> and then just start only selling fans? only fan <laughs> stuff video chats like he's like i'm gonna fuck. Oh, <laughs> but like yeah. that's gonna be the, that's what it's gonna be the meditate and then jordan was like how long do you think before they have like an ai integrated in it where it's x-ray vision so if i have this on i can look at you and you're naked and it's just <gasps> ai making Ooh. all right you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's gonna be a thing. I don't like. I think because the Oculus still has like a video game like thing. This seems like a real accessory of the home. Like yes. there's a bit of like there's a yes. different normalcy it. to it. Yes. Like the it's vibe. It's very personable. It seems like a real home appliance. But, like, but yeah. you know what, Mariah? But like to agree with you, there could be something really weird in this that none of us know about. Are, is it surprising? Absolutely not. It's, it's right it, by it, your it, temples. Imagine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There, I don't know. I don't know. It's, a, it's the chum bucket helmet. Everybody's like, <laughs> and then it fucking locks on. That's what I imagine. It's like saw. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh They're just waiting God. for enough people in the system to have it on, and then the game starts. <laughs> it's escape room. I can't get it off. Oh, no. You're in an escape room with everybody who bought it. It is very expensive. It's $3,500. Yeah. yeah. Very expensive. So I'm curious who is... 
Who is going to buy it? Techie. Kids oh, are, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sam Shepard. Like, yes. Yeah. Um, here, um, question. Is this available to even like pre- I don't think you could pre-order it yet, but it says it's dropping beginning 2024. I, I mean, as long as one of us get it, we all share it, right? Zane, you yeah. buy it, take it, take it to Coachella and like, like do a photo <laughs> set to- Jordan, go back. These poor kids are sitting here playing yeah. and the dad is sitting there with his fucking- <laughs> but You see, that's, I don't that's like, terrible. that type of, that type of like, like- Look at this. That's no. this. Oh, that's that's dystopian. Like, yeah, that's they don't need I'm that gonna, in the commercial. Oh, he looks creepy. He looks like he's doing something. <laughs> he's recording them. <laughs> but they don't they don't need that in the commercial. I no. think it's a, there's other ways to incorporate these goggles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ew. It's just, it's just something wrong dad, about that. Dad, the- come play with us. <laughs> oh I'm busy, gosh. kids. The meditation, though, that looks really cool. Where you could, like, meditate and, like, have these. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is for people with the, taking drugs. Until you have come it on. on for 15 minutes and then you get the VR, like, headache that everybody gets <laughs> i think it's kind of cool yeah, like i already like i already see this on snl they're gonna make a skip where, oh like, yeah couples are fighting and it's just like on this thing I, mean, it, I can't wait to see the like what people like do with this i hope it's a little bit easier than when i'm in your truck you have that rear view mirror oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. like a camera and I cannot look at it because I can't adjust to like. It's really hard to. You get have used to look to. at it, not through it. Like yeah. a normal mm-hmm. rear view mirror, you're looking at what's behind you. That is just a camera, so yeah. it makes you feel cross-eyed, and you can't adapt to it. That's what I'm hoping it's not like. What I like is just, it's just Apple though. Like the Oculus, I think is still so confusing to get around, yeah. knowing that it just feels like. So second nature, like an iPhone getting around, I think is what's going to be. I can't, nice. I, right now I can't picture like it, what it's going to look like. I know we're seeing all these like different videos, but I <laughs> cannot picture what it's going to look like. Imagine cutting to the next episode, the four of us. Are- <laughs> <laughs> Just wow. welcome back. I'm Zane. I'm <laughs> So like, look, ba- baby, you're so close to the screen. Like, <laughs> like back it up. The, your eyes. Like, remember they told us not to sit so close to the TV as a kid because you'll yeah. go blind. Now we got the fucking TV it's oh. screen, just lenses up oh, on our eyeball. Zane. I'm like, oh, it's for Pinterest too. Okay, oh, I, mean, well, I, I guess I could get behind. Get behind. <laughs> just <laughs> this. Imagine what you- I, it'll be a lot easier for organizing. <laughs> Could it be educational? <laughs> yeah, very. Educational. It could be very educational. <laughs> Imagine like wedding event that. planners just. <laughs> I can see you editing on this like like Tom Cruise and Minority Report. Say it's gonna be just yes, like yes, yes. <laughs> get it out of oh, here. Oh, taking your subway order. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. We've got the app on our phones, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. Whether it's concerts, baseball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. And SeatGeek even looked at the data, and it turns out our viewers love Bad Bunny, Steve Lacey, Harry Styles, and Kendrick Lamar, all of which are on tour right now. And we are in the hot season right now for... Uh, sports like hockey and baseball and and basketball, all with the big time, really important games that Mm -hmm. are popping off that you don't want to miss. Yeah. And you know, they got Uh, the teams like the 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 bison, the bison, the chicken nuggets and, and the, the hoopers head to head. Make sure to get your tickets at SeatGeek. And of course, SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means a good deal and red means mm, bad deal. And don't worry, we've got the hookup. All you got to do is use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app today. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. Go Bisons! Woo! I'm so curious. We'll see how it is. I like, I can't picture it looking like that. What if it just looks like shit? <laughs> like yeah. the displays are just glitching. It's just not moving the way you want it. Like that looks insane to me. Cause remember when Oculus was showing their, like their commercials, it does, it didn't look like what it looked like when we put it on the headset. I don't remember Did the it? commercial. Oculus is well, still just, pretty fucking cool. I, no, I know, but like I'm saying the commercial compared to what it actually looked like in our eyes. You're right, you're right. Which, I mean, it's just, that's but just for marketing. $3,500 and they've been working on this for years, I bet it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, 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 this is gonna sound stupid. I don't, look at this picture right now. Mm-hmm. I don't understand the difference between having the goggles on and looking at something and looking at a TV. Like I what, think why, these people why have, is that, is that, I think what would be 
what's really cool about it. Some people like their home setups and like their life in their apartments aren't that like great. And they would much rather like look at a beautiful like thing than just being stuck on their laptop in like the corner of their room kind of a thing. Like they, I think they is have this, it in a really nice room because just for the commercial, but I think what they're trying to do is to, to simulate having a big screen in front of you. I think it enhances this sense of like luxury when you are in your homework like environment. Now yeah. that you have all these like beautiful screens. And I'm sure they, than, like, and I'm sure that in their head they're like, oh wow, a lot of people work from home now. This is gonna be amazing for people that like have to be in their room. Yeah, people who knows how like people, small your room is. This people are gonna just people are gonna come out with lazy eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because <it's> <laughs> <laughs> We're already having problems talking to other people. Now our eyes are just going to be. That's the thing. I don't need to be any dumber than I am. <laughs> this is going to definitely. Well, I just don't get the um, the prolonged use of it. That, that's thank you. You're you're like asking all the questions. What do you mean that, the prolong like, uh, like like using it for a long time? Like they're like saying like do your work from here and it will replace like your computer or whatever. Like there's like, a novelty uh, like to it for time, sure. Time of day like like sitting there working on your computer for like five hours. People who were like work from it. You got this fucking thing on for five you know hours. What? He, right, yeah. I, I feel like you're gonna take it back. Cause I just like, I just thought of what you could do on this. Imagine gaming on this, but that's, you'd be, you'd be in the world. You'd be literally but that's able obvious. to, but that's, that's not what this is though. This is for like, I think you can't play video games on this. I'm sure Definitely. you can. Definitely. Yeah. Disney has a whole thing that they're integrating but with that's it. That's like Oculus. We already have that. We're saying like what they're advertising. Like what it what as. they they've shown. Like this seems working, a little bit working like working from uh, home and whatever. I think this. I think I don't know about Mariah, but I think this might surprise you. I have a feeling you're really gonna love this. I you like tech. You shit. just bought no, night I, vision goggles. Yeah, you, exactly. You got night vision no, goggles. No, I think, I think it will be really cool. Like I'm excited to play with it. Um, yeah, I'm very curious. But as more of a toy than like replacing <laughs> that is my vibe roller coaster tycoon on that bitch <laughs> i will say apple if you're listening before this comes out if you can <laughs> apple a, like op, yeah the whole team they should make a guard that is either easy to clean or like makeup proof because my oculus is filthy and because the, of um, makeup apple headphones. It's so and the apple headphones oh. it's like a cloth material and it doesn't come out. Oh, I bet so they know. So it always looks dirty. I, I it's like my they, headphones, they look filthy. I bet it's like ventilated too. And you know what? I'm sure they. I'm sure that team had the Oculus and they like worked off the Oculus. Like yes. problems that you'd have with the Oculus maybe. Yes. I mean, anything you put on your face like that, if you're wearing makeup is gonna be a problem. Yeah. You know what's crazy? That's first generation. Imagine like eighth generation of these gods. These gods are gonna be floating. <laughs> no, no, there's no gonna be no just gonna be like shades. They're just like- No, they're gonna be contacts. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. everyone thought that Google Glass thing was like, yo, you insane. remember that? Oh, thing? Yeah. I never Ooh. even put that on. Did Bro, you guys ever hype. try it? I thought that was going to change the <laughs> Wait, world. What is it? That. What is it? What is it? Google, Google Glass. Yeah, I don't know what that is. There were a pair of glasses that had like this little square um, glass piece in the corner that would have uh, information, information and you could like look and like read off of it. When was this? Like 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Might even be but longer it, than it, Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> But I actually but it remembered didn't, that specific picture. It didn't go anywhere, it though. It didn't hit. It didn't hit. Interesting. How was it? It was really crazy. You it could was, you could move the things with your eyeballs. It, it is How like did that, that not take off? That's like uh, that's it, so interesting. The, I think it was Goog too soon. Google said that they couldn't perfect it for... Because when I tried it, it was a test one that they gave students at UCF, and I just mm. happened to be friends with them. But you would see people around the campus wearing them. So I got to use it, but it is just like the new Apple product, but obviously a lot slower and a lot worse. But you would see like Facebook there and like you can swipe so with your eyes. It needs to be like some like shield that slides down. Yeah. You know what I mean? They should make a It'll visor, like a Yo. visor hat that you can just yeah. can double as a visor and you just pull it down did, oh. like a screen. Did yes. you see the um the new Dyson uh <laughs> Dyson headphone everything? helmet. Oh yeah, yeah. Air the, Wait, what? We were we were in the Dyson store the other day, and it's this giant headphone system with this uh, air purifier air in the purifier front that shoots air up your nose, like as you're walking. You look, you look like a cyborg. It's it like, basically what? filters the air so that yeah. you're breathing clean air. Wait, does it help me breathe while I'm running? Because I can't fucking breathe when I'm running. <laughs> it's not like an it, asthma inhaler. I oh. think it's like good if you live like in a city that has like heavy smog and stuff. Yeah, here. And, but like you running with that thing, you're. I don't think it's for like athletic 
yeah. uh, oh, exertion. It's, it's just for like your day to day, like just want to have clean air purifying around you. Dyson is a brand I can get behind. That's <laughs> Yo, more, they, I wanted to move in. We make things properly. I just they're, wanted to make things. They properly. are. They're, they're so good. sturdy. I have the Dyson Ooh. hair dryer. You do. You mm -hmm. do. The air wrap. The I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's really good. I dry myself off with it every day. <laughs> Why you but, take dude, a hair dryer then, and you, dude? I, like getting a towel and drying off is it takes longer than grabbing that thing. There is no, no way. way. So, there is no have to way. Dab yourself. I'll, 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 I'll literally. I'll, I'll video like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I have to. Yeah. That, it's the most moist down there. You have yeah. to you dry everything. There's no way. I promise you, dude. It's it's a good it's a good dryer. I have it. You drop it. You yeah. dry yourself with that instead of a towel. Yeah. I've, I've posted it before. I've shared my I've shared my experience with it. Right. On, people have seen it. You guys know. You've seen it. You should cool. just get the standing Dyson fan and just stand in front of it. They have ones that are as tall as uh, me. That's, That's what true. I have. I have one of those. Okay. Ooh. They're really nice. You could stick your arm through it, right? Yeah, Dyson Pure Cool. I remember seeing one of those for the first time, and I thought the blade was just going so fast because I've never seen a bladeless <laughs> fan. I thought it was going so fast, and my friend stuck her hand in it, and I was like, what? Yeah. I thought there was a blade. I thought it was coming from the center of it yeah, until me too. we went like a oh, week no, no, ago. No. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was just like around the trim. Does I thought something like I thought it was like sucking from the back and like throwing it through that hole. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, their vacuum machines were the best back in the day when the Dyson like Ooh. when that yellow vacuum. Yeah, that was like the thing. Now it's all purple. Like I don't know why they went with purple. All right, I, I like purple. I have the purple one. Heath got me one. There's for nothing for wrong my with birthday. purple. No, I they really don't like make purple. the yellow. They, uh, Dyson always had like yellow stuff, and now it's all purple. Yeah. I just think and it's I think like I, I think purple's a great. I, I think purple's perfect for both like genders. It's just, it's just like the perfect mi middle it's color in between red and blue. Yeah, it's because like, men I, clean it makes, too. It makes it makes sense. <laughs> And make a sense. I just think it's funny. I have the the air wrap and the vacuum. I just think it's so funny that they're from the same. Yeah. Like you don't see Con Air making a vacuum. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I just like that it matches. You could tell it's really good because they like own the technology for sucking, sucking and blowing basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty I much. They're just like good at it. I love Dyson. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, ShipStation. Guys, we live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to ShipStation. Yeah, and save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. And ShipStation is so much cheaper to use than any of the you know, big carriers we out there. We know exactly there. what you're talking about, dude. And they've gone... Oh, it just keeps going up. Years. Yeah, it's so, so expensive. And ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Effortless integration everywhere you saw online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. And you can manage every order from one simple dashboard, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. And with industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. And over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Mm -hmm. So spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code UNFILTER today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com and use promo code UNFILTERED. Thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring today's episode. We love ya. <laughs> Did we talk? We're going to Vegas this weekend for... <laughs> Woo! I am so excited. I haven't been to Vegas in so long. Normally, it's like a few of us going to Vegas. It'll be like a small group of six. Small that. But Jason and Naveen have made it a duo bachelor, bachelor trip. Bachelor, bachelorette right? trip. And there's like a total of like 30 people, like 30 of us yeah. going. Matt, I don't even know how they're even going to um, plan this out because I don't know any restaurant that will take 30 people at once. I don't know any place, any venue that will take 30 people at once. I don't know how this is gonna like, how this is gonna go down. I think I'm the, excited, the, the guys and the girls are gonna be separated for like different yeah. things and then come together. Some, oh, come on, you know we're not gonna be separated. Wait, we're so gonna Mariah's gonna go off with like Naveen and her whole crew? And Patricia will, I guess? Isn't that what normally happens? Like when you have like if a joint? If you do a combine, I went to a joint one and we did, the girls did their thing, the boys did their thing, and then we all met 
to like be something together later. or like an activity or something right. like that. Got it. Who okay. knows? But, but it's going to be fun. I was telling Heath the other day for someone, myself, who like not a gambler, not a drinker, hates clubs. I love Las Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. Me too. Love. Oh, it's like Disney World for yes, adults. Like it's just the it's the atmosphere. It's the atmosphere and the occasion. The history, the, the rat occasion. pack. Come on. Do you like night do you like nightclubs in Vegas? It's cool when they're it like it, is, is it like a thing? Is it is well, it like an excuse? Here's the thing. I'll I don't like it, but when I'm in Vegas, I'll go. When I'm here, I won't go. Got it. So it's like you gotta go. Yeah, it's like it's we're in like Vegas, fun. fuck it, we're gonna go to a nightclub, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. Because there's what no else are you gonna like do it. in Vegas in the end of the day? Well, there's a lot. That's why I think Heath and I Hello? The doorbell Hello? rang? Wait, is that your doorbell? Don't you yeah. have a gate? We just got a That's doorbell. That's scary. Yeah, Pretty that awesome. Crazy. Oh, Wait, I'll that, buy the that gate. That would give me nightmares like, if I heard that. Yeah, there's so much to do in Vegas. Every time we go, we try to like hit different activities. Like they have like the zip lining, they have Old Town. What's it called? Who was at the door? Like Old Vegas? Old Vegas. Oh yeah. They mm, have I love all the these like Italian restaurants that the Rat Pack used to perform at. They have the neon grave, neon sign graveyard, whatever it's called. They just have, just cool pockets of things to do. Little yeah. nooks and crannies. Yeah. So there is a lot to do if you don't like the clubs and partying and whatever. There's so many other activities. I'm just had to play some blackjack. I've yeah, been at a I, table in a minute. I love to just yeah, lose my money to blackjack. I never go I'll up. I'll do around the second I'm down. I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> I like the slot. You go up or down. You're just, I'm good. Thank I'm you. I'm good. Thank you so much. Are you gonna put? Um, are you gonna put 40k on red again? Yeah, I might do 80. Who put 40k on red? David. Oh, were you there? No, I wasn't there. Oh no. Was I? I don't know. I, feel I, like watched, I watched the video. Um, I saw him do a ten thousand dollar one. It was when we did it with uh, Ilya and Joan. They put in like thirty, and then I think I put in. I either put no, in no, like no, no. When Mariah got. Oh, Something that was when David, 20. David um, won the money and that's what he gave to her. Got it. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Is Corinna going? I don't know. I miss when she like wasn't as rich as she is now because it was fun because <laughs> she would sit at the table with us. She used to be a blackjack dealer. I'd be like, Corinna, what do I do? I'd be making money like crazy. Now she's going to be going to like the elite room, like, <laughs> like the high oh, room. She's room. not with the sorry people. Like no. uh, she's, she's going straight to that uh, the 250K room. Those uh, rooms are crazy where it's like, you, it's like, a thousand dollar minimum on like a slot machine. Oh no! Like oh, or, those rooms. Oh, I thought those were only tables. Like you have to spend at least ten thousand. No, well, there's they, a they high roller like, slot machine. They have room. like a high roller section where they have like slots and blackjack and everything like that. But then they also have rooms that you can't even see that are like behind the scenes that are like ah. actual private like rooms. Yeah, that's that the one nobody can come in. Like you have it to yourself. We like, went into the one at uh, for Dixie's birthday. They have like. Your and own private no dealer, like whatever you, you mean. There's no rules. You can have your phone out. Googling how to be better. <laughs> <laughs> how to count. You, you're wearing one of those things. <laughs> count, <laughs> counting cards. Like the count is this. <laughs> it tells you exactly what's on the next night in the next car. Yeah. You, you have a you have a uh, bartender in there. Everything's private. Yes. Damn, and it's like way like away from the public. Yeah. And it's in the it's in the casino. Every like, hotel casino has this like one of these rooms. I would in imagine. There. I think so. Interesting. Oh my god! Wow, that makes me feel very sorry. <laughs> For what? No, like the like I feel like the, oh, sorry, the sorry people. people. I, I didn't even know that shit existed. Wow. You're Oof. so humble. And they usually get like the rooms of the pool on the rooftop, right? Like the, they kind of get that treatment. Nah. Mm. I would love to be able to count cards. Wouldn't that be so cool? Yeah, it's like not illegal, but they just don't want you doing it. Every casino now has that clip of you and now you're in the system when you walk around. It's so funny they kick you out when you start winning. Right? The, the amount of videos Wait, no. I've seen. Wait, I thought that if they see something suspicious, no, if you start winning, winning, if you start winning and doing well, they will say you have to go. You can't But then wouldn't why why not just purposely lose a few hands while you're counting? I guess cuz it's how long you've been sitting there and how long you've been breaking in. They're like, "Okay, the thing is, it's like counting cards. Like there has to be a moment where you learn to count cards and you're re it's really obvious because you're like, <laughs> like, you're like counting with your fingers the, and everything. The thing is that you can't like learn to count anymore at these tables, right? It's the, the deck is so like, well, no, they have, I think you can, you can only really, when they have multiple decks, it makes it harder. And they have, they have multiple decks. And I, it, yeah. Like, I don't think they play like single deck anymore. It's like impossible to count with like that many like that many decks. But in, I thought the around. rule there has to be a certain amount of decks because then it would just fuck up the whole game. Like you have to have a bit of like kind of predictability. Does it need, does it need to have like the full it's, deck in each? It used to be like one deck. Okay, right. Um, it, it like scrambles your like odds of being able to like count cards, which 
I guess it's still the same thing. You still have the a double amount of it, but um, they also like stop it halfway. Like it doesn't always like get to the bottom. Then they do like a reshuffle. Some of them are like shuffling as you're playing. Yeah. Um, to kind of like help that. But it's wow. all like uh like a point system, like the the counting. You're either like it's like a a plus one or like a minus it's one. Two. And there's people these days that are at like Caesars counting still. Yeah. You think? Oh, I bet there's counters every That's insane time to me. in Vegas. Because yeah. I thought they would have like figured out like I mean, but oh, it, at the end of the day, it's just like, odds. Like you're like, okay, they just showed a face card, they just showed a face card, they just showed a face card. It's like it's a probability. You have guessing, to watch then, a few yeah. rounds go and then you know what the count is. And then once you know what the count is, then you can like keep yeah. riding it the whole time. You know what game David just gets so cr weirdly fucking lucky on? The roulette. When mm. like he'll walk by a roulette and he'll He'll put it on like a random number and he gets so close or on it every single time. It's like something up in the air is telling him to put it on that. It's fucking weird. Yeah. And it happens all the time. Roulette. I hate playing it, but when I, I feel like I have that frequency when I'm watching a game, I'm not playing like it's going to be red and it's red. Like I, yeah. until every time I'm down. until I sit down and then I don't like when shit. Yeah. I'm always scared about playing craps or like people who throw the dice. I'm just scared. I would just be like, boop, and it would miss the whole table. <laughs> One of them like, jumps out. Yeah. Like, I'm just like too scared about to fuck something up. Those when, craps players are intense. Remember yeah. when we tried? It's like sitting at the last supper table. It's they're really intense. intense. It's and then so the guys are getting like massaged as they're like. Yeah, there's like <laughs> girls there. Like they're blowing on the dice. And everybody around the table has a bet in depending on your role. Is yeah. that? Damn. That's like, that's pressure. a lot of pressure. Yeah. Do they get pissed at the like roller? Uh, if it's like a bad, you can't really. I just couldn't imagine playing poker against strangers, you know? Yeah. It's fun playing poker like with your friends, but if you're just looking at a stranger, just yeah. calling their bluff. Oh, I was watching a- Bullshit, you're a liar. <gasps> Fuck you. <laughs> I was just watching get... a, I was watching a poker game. I'm surprised that they're allowed to wear glasses, like sunglasses. It's part of the- like it, I know, but I thought the whole point of like <laughs> poker is to- <laughs> I thought the whole it's point was to, yeah. no, that's what like, isn't that kind of like you're not cheating, but you're not playing the game right? Because the whole point is that you have to tell if they're like lying or not or bluffing. And if you're covering your whole foot face and where's the challenge in I, that? It, uh, they, there's no way that they would like require someone to like tell little John to take off his sunglasses. Cause we want to see if he's like, but I, I like, I just don't think. It, it seems weird to have sunglasses on at a poker game. You're but playing a, for we, money. Everyone in Vegas is wearing sunglasses walking I around. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know you mean too, but I think I think they do wear them because people people with hazel eyes, they'll change when they get excited or they'll they'll be dilated. You can tell like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Isn't yeah. that a thing? Yeah, it is, but I thought that was the whole point is that you have to try to hide that. No? Is that like, like poker face? Yeah. Like I how good is your poker face? Yeah, but I guess I get okay. Yeah, I, I get it. I thought I just thought that was the whole point of like the challenge. Professional poker. poker players. That's a crazy career. I don't get it. People who like have made tons of money. They are they're pros at playing a game of so you're a pro in line. Yeah. You're like a professional counter then. I, well, no, because no, there's th like, that's cheating the game. You can't cheat poker. You're just good at when to when to hold them and when to fold them. You know. Yeah. And just knowing that you're that good where you rack up. And have built uh, like yes, like that's wealth your off of it. It's is, strange. Is very that's crazy. I know we don't want to encourage gambling for young kids, but how cute would a little <laughs> casino be? But it's like go fish, <laughs> and yeah. like all the card games Hungry we did hippo. growing up. Yeah. I, would, I would throw my kid in there. Yeah, and, and the and the tokens are goldfish crackers. It would or, be like Chuck E. Cheese, gold but a casino. Blues. Yeah, Chocolate that is gold cute. And the tables aren't just green; they're every color. Some feelings would be hurt. <laughs> No, there'd be some tantrums. Right, that's some shit that would have been like back in like the nineties. That they're like all of a sudden they're just like, we can't do this anymore. That's that was kind of this is kind of wrong. It's also like strategy, you know. Yeah, it's fun. They could. I, I think it would be. An, I I don't think it would be right to put it in a casino, but I think they should have a separate thing in a separate no, that's building. No, I'm saying a mini casino for kids. Yeah. Like open a, yeah. a brand new thing. <laughs> it's like Chuck E. Cheese rebranded. Yeah. And dresses, and they're oh, like, there's little kids dealing. Oh, they got like wine, but it's grape juice. <laughs> and they got like these- Oh, little... child labor laws. Actually, that's really bad. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> there's a line, but I think it could be done. They got tiny little shanks. They should have kids. You know how when you're 15, 16 years old and you're like a camp counselor, mm -hmm. that age kid should be the dealer. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know, that'd be really, oh, that'd be so cute. You should start something. Start something now before this episode comes out. Names. I do have to go. Do you ever go on any cool field trips as a kid? <laughs> In Pennsylvania, we have a lot of war grounds. So we went to Gettysburg, like things oh, like that. Oh, damn. But Blood was spilled. Um, Jersey Shore House is a war ground. A <laughs> lot of Jersey fights. <laughs> a lot of battles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring... Um, Heath to Seaside this summer, hopefully. Yeah. Oh my God. We're Show him the old shore. stomping ground. Oh, we're gonna go oh, that's oh, freaking awesome. <laughs> Can he dress them like uh, Italian? Oh, I'm I'm getting Ed Hardy hats. Yes. Uh, Affliction t-shirts. I think it's appropriate. I think that's the only time to do it. Send me pictures. I want to see it. Kidsino. <laughs> <laughs> God, <we're> just <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> Kidsino. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out. It's fine. All right, All right I'm out. Thanks. Mom, go to the casino. <laughs> I love it. You're dirty. Dirty. <laughs> okay, but um, Mariah does have to be out because it is five and we started a little late and that was my fault. We're I can hold 15. off. <laughs> oh, okay. Bubba, Bubba, no, you're, you're going to be late. She does this all the time and then she's late. And then she's no, always- No, it's okay. What? I, to I told you 5, 5 15 because I have to leave by 5.30. Oh, so you I were lying. You were lying. Wait, so then how are we doing the, the cool down? Oh, Heath right, and I we'll, can we'll do the figure, cool down. We'll figure the cool down out. Have you ever placed a big bet on a sports game? Never. I think I did. Only on UFC. Oh, over a fight. Yeah. Yeah. He did I do it with you once or was that was I just For imagining UFC? that? Yeah. Like I feel we, like we tried we tried to get you to bet on the uh, McGregor uh Mayweather boxing fight. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I don't and think thank God it didn't go through. We couldn't find somebody yeah. to do it and we would have lost so yeah well there you go every time i bet on sports it never works usually it's not your thing i'm i'm what two and oh on every sports game i bet on oh okay. really mm -hmm. good for you thank you i didn't realize these draft king uh, the, the, those sports betting apps only work in certain states yeah you can't do it out yeah there. it's yeah not it's, and i realized oh why is every time i'm on vacation everyone's betting on sports mm -hmm. and then i realized oh the app doesn't work out there mm -hmm. so now it's kind of cool you could just like but have you bet on steak? I was Heath. Bet on steak. Have you been on it? Oh, what been on steak. What Corinna? What Corinna's on? Oh, so what is it? It it's is online insane. Gambling. So it's insane. Are they playing poker? Anything you want. Is that where also it has that one where you like you bet on when it yeah. stops? Yeah. And all yeah. of it's like in crypto. Like, it's so, allowed. But it's yeah. uh, it, no, you can't. It is. I mean, it's no, it's not allowed. Here. You can get and a VPN your, or do whatever you want or go but out. It's not allowed um, in the U.S. But you can Correct. change your VPN. It's like yeah, yeah. Wow, um, it's insane. You have played it or you've just watched we it? Yeah, go we down. Uh, we played it yeah. when we were, we're in, in Europe. Yeah, right, okay, right. gotcha. Um, yeah. So it's crazy though because whatever you want to play, whether it's blackjack, roulette, it's all live dealers. So if they're so live you, streaming somebody. Yeah. So there's a dealer sitting there waiting. You pop in, they deal your cards, and you press hit, stand, whatever you want. And they see your response like on a screen, and then they'll give you an extra card, and they'll wait for you to make your mind up, and then like, fin like it's just crazy that it's such real time, no lag, and you're, boom, in and out. Okay, you just doubled your money. Matt, oh, you just when, lost. So is there a huge warehouse filled with all these people? I was gonna say, are they, are they dealers yeah. from home? No, Whoa. no, no. It's like no, a warehouse. It's, it's, it's like a, a workspace. I wonder but what the those cards, hours look like. The cards always look so weird though, because it's like. They look like green screened or something. No, it's no, real. No, oh, it's real. Whoa. It's all real. I think you're probably seeing like a magnification of it or something. Probably. Maybe they, they kind of zoom it in to make it bigger so you can clearly read it. Are these like it. those clips not to make it dark? Are where the like girls are like. clips where like it's probably not. Some people think they're trapped. Yeah. yeah. It, it, there's, there's been like people talking about it. Like people say, are there like legs chained to it or something? <laughs> yeah. but, like I've seen that. Oh my but gosh. I, I, I don't, for, for this, I don't. I think I th the there's multiple there's multiple fine. ones there's more yeah. yeah the ones we saw seemed perfectly oh, there's fine. slot machines so okay there's poker yes. yeah. Texas Hold'em blackjack yeah yeah all of it everything and I, I think the 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 craziest part about this was like he said there's no glitch there's not one millisecond of glitch in anything that you it's play so crazy the servers that they probably have around they probably pay like and, 10 million dollars a day and like you're just in a room with like other people so they'll deal your set their set the, like as Woo! if you were sitting around a real blackjack table. It makes and no I, it, sense. It's it's genius. Oh, but I mean, but it's like that's horrible what it looks like. for that. Every, so, every person has their own camera on that table. But are the chips in the currency like the way it's bro broken down? Is it like you're playing point twenty five like Ethereum, or is it five dollars? You would convert it 
and basically you would have like your bank and you could bet 25 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever yeah. you want. Like, so but, you set up your account? Yeah. Yeah. But then what about the price of, cur- uh, of crypto if it's changing all the time? Is it like all yeah. of a sudden you're like- Well, 10, no. Well, it's, well it's, you, would, you would convert however much at a certain time if you want it or okay, however you want to do it. It's not connected to your Ethereum. You have to pull it out first at, the, oh, at that moment. And then, and you, then you're playing with- there okay yeah. and i'm sure you could do like uh what is it the usd coin just to like hold the money you yeah. know what i mean uh that way oh. you're like not losing or whatever boy it was fun though heath and i were like it was wild it was really fun. no see i don't anything digitally like i'm like uh. the closest i'll go is like a video poker at a bar in vegas but like anything like that's see, where, that i don't trust that's what i don't trust a anything. But that, I'm, that's I'm not nickel and diamond on to that. me that to me that stake is not digital that was that's real life that you see you see the cards being played like there's that is nothing unreal. yeah yeah did anybody have that handheld blackjack game growing up oh yeah. yes oh from that to this wait wait a second blackjack 13. yeah you don't remember that? Whoa, Dude, what, what was it called back right it's like one of those okay things. it is one of those but they like unfold like a like a calculator i think I, I kind of want that to like practice before Vegas. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Ooh, I might get a little blackjack app want, on my phone. Wait, do they still sell this? Sell these? I'm yeah, sure, probably like, an Amazon one They probably have sure. a at Target. Yeah. Dude, Imagine yeah. on the plane, full volume. <laughs> <laughs> blackjack. On your way to Vegas. Yeah. That's funny. 13. You know, it's weird. My grandparents all day, they play at the casino on their computer, but with fake money oh uh, yeah i just want to feel cute. the rush wait how do you play with fake money at the casino it's just fake money like if you win like you have like f- I don't know, fake money in a video game i don't know how to explain no it. but how do they give you fake money at a casino it's it's on their computer it's just like a, it's just a oh, oh oh i thought you, i thought you said in vegas in, no no in no on the, they have like a fake like it's just like oh, a got it, got casino it, okay. on the computer I, that's what i would do i wouldn't play with real money i'd play right with fake but they money. but like if you win like they're you get well, you, could, you could be so excited, you know. Yeah. What I mean? Like it ain't real. The thing is that most of the time you're losing more than winning, right? In a sense, yeah. So that's it's still exciting. I'm sure, like I would get excited if I was winning a lot of money. I would just like imagine that it was. Real. I hate when sometimes as much as I love winning, I hate it because you're like, God, that was pretty easy and that felt pretty good. Yeah. But, but the thing is, like, I either have to like know that that paid for my trip. Or like I have to go spend that money on something there in Vegas because I got to view it like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I got to like just know. You gotta I don't want to think like, oh damn, that paid my rent. Oh shit, I could like <laughs> uh, like thinking that it could solve your problems yeah. from winnings of gambling is like a scary route to go down. That's where it's like, oof. And you could win. That's my problem. You could win. The, you could win the same amount as you lose, and for some reason, the loss just seems so much bigger. Yeah. Like, whoa, I lost a lot, but when you win, you're like, I feel like I was supposed to win more in that round because I. But it's, it's my problem is like day day one, I'll go up. Like, damn, I'm up like fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah, and then you. And then by the end of the trip, you're down. Maybe that's a it's secret, like, Heath. But I, because I feel like you do that every time. You you're up so much at that first day. Just be it's up. A, walk that's away. A, it's the alcohol, man. Walk away. That's why they keep feeding it to you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Then, I have then, st- then five thirty in the morning, you're blacked out, and you're just like, hit me, hit, hit, I, hit, oh. and then. I've gambled like so long at a casino and been so drunk where like I forgot like what mm-hmm. casino I was in. Mm-hmm. I'd stayed at that table for so long. Is that real? Oh. The oxygen fill uh, the oxygen yes. flowing in the room. You, that's real. Yeah. I keep hearing so, it. Like, and I think you, it's to keep you up. Yeah, to keep you up. No clocks in there. You've you've talked to somebody that works at hotels. I believe they, so. Yeah, I think that they can afford pumping oxygen in it. They pump that shit. How much do you think they, how much do you think they spend? Not that much, but yeah, like- Yeah, they pump in like so higher cute. oxygen content into the air so you could like, you There's breathe better. There's also smoke like, in there. They gotta keep it like oh, circulated, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. I'm trying to find a picture that my mom sent me of my grandpa in jail for illegal gambling. <laughs> but she has a picture of it. I never met him, but she has a picture of him in jail for, gam- for gambling. And he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> For, for, oh, for illegally gambling? Like, not counting, right? If Illegal, could, playing cards, like, under the table. Illegal games, like Molly's game. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Boss ass, bitch. That's what he was doing. Gambling rings. I, I want to know. I, I, I hear about them all the time. You hear about the gambling rings in LA? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 
I know something you don't know. Mm. And all, and all them, them girls go there and they deal the cars and give massages. Mm-hmm. Oh, a lot do. of them, a lot of them pay their rent. Are they happening at like residences or is it happening like downstairs of the Viper room? Oh, like oh, it's, ha- it's happening both. You know, both. Molly Bloom followed me on Instagram. Really? Yeah, the Molly. Get her Bloom. on. Let's get her on. Let's talk. Let's she talk. She just had a baby. Who's Molly Bloom? Molly Bloom was Ooh, the girl. She could, she could she could be on the Vegas episode. Oh, that'd be that'd be pretty dope. Be amazing. She's a dealer. Um. Molly Bloom was a woman who ran like a uh, po- game. a poker ring in Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Molly. The, the, the Molly. Molly Bloom. Oh, all right. I didn't know who she was. Yeah, she but, ran. Does she? Uh, what's her accent? Like, what's her? Uh, I don't know. Isn't she? She Canadian? I don't know. But she's. I can't remember. Oh, she I, was can a professional, her, I can see her talking Olympic. like talking like this, right? What's I that? think no, dude. She's pretty <laughs> academic. She was like an Olympic skier. Her dad was like a. a oh, she, I thought a, those were armpit hair. I was like, damn. Look at that shit. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like straight hair. I was like, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that girl probably got some stories, but I don't even know if like what she could say like legally and stuff. The thing is that she wrote a whole book, so I think she could say pretty much anything that she's written. It's her and Aaron Sorkin. It's gotta be like cool when so like, cool. you are so down on your luck, you think like life is at the end and the next thing you know, in five years, they're making a movie about you. So cool. You think they'll make a movie about me and you? No. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I really there's really don't. nothing. So boring. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's in the jail That's cell. So I thought yeah. it was a bunch show. It's in the jail? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's ri- you should hang that. I know, I want it That's frame. a really Wait, cool can I picture. see that? Like my future basement, if we have a little blackjack table, I want that frame. That's cool. <laughs> oh, wait, that's sick. That's cool, right? Oh, I should definitely hang that. His hip you got your eye on <laughs> anything that you like? Your relatives have that you're kind of like, oh uh, no, nothing. Jesus. Something that my relatives oh, 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 have like, that, oh, yeah, like yeah. dark, like, like really, yeah, like pass, oh, like, I can't wait for that. Um, no, nothing. There's nothing. Wait, something dark that they have? No, no, like, like, like no, it's is a there dark, any, dark conversation. Anything that like your parents, or your grandparents have that you're like kind of excited for them to die over <laughs> so you can get it. Oh, so you can get it. Oh, like are you, oh. when you like look at it, you're like, one day that's gonna be mine. I know uh, Matt already has a list. I know yeah, he's yeah. Right, jotting that shit down. <laughs> there's like some he reorganizing it every year. <laughs> There's like, oh, there's like some paintings and like mm. some. Dollars. So you thought about it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, what are you what are you claiming? I'll, I'm not gonna say on here. Yeah, yeah that's. Kind but of there's stuff point. that there's stuff that I know that my brother. If I was like, I want that, my brother would be like, okay, well, you appreciate that more, so yeah, mm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Can thing- you imagine you inha- imagine you inherited like a thirty million dollar painting? You'd be like. <laughs> oh, it would be pretty nice if I cash that in, but you I like, would I would sell it. I yeah, no but they were yeah. like, that's the one thing is you never sell the painting. <laughs> no, like, fuck, thirty they, million. Would you do it? Don't, my don't money. Sell it, yeah, will you? It's you're, a fucking painting. If your yeah. grandpa was like, I'm giving this to you, I want you to keep it forever. Please don't sell it. It's worth thirty million, and then he dies right there. Oh, boom! Sell it right on oh, fucking the money. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's a hard decision. Because if if I said the same thing to my grandson, <laughs> come on, just like you have to think what like the smartest thing to do. Because if you don't sell it, the next person is going to, they're gonna sell it. Someone's gonna sell it. Yeah. At some point. It will it might as well be you. If you really needed the money, if it was worth more than everything you ever owned, I'd be like, yeah. Or like a property. Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. right? Oh my god, that just all like done. Just land. Mm-hmm. Freaking land. Give me a country. Give me the land. <laughs> a country. Mariah, oh. you get all of Sicily. <laughs> <laughs> Do I sell it? <laughs> Queen of the land. <laughs> what do I even, where do I even start? Do You're I like on the edge of the Sicily. Where I have so I much start? to do. Oh, can I, can I do, can I do a. No. Can I go get dressed? What? Oh yeah, you can go. But I just wanna. Can I? Can I promo uh, my, my mom? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 Why are you begging? My, yes, my, please. My mom is first place right now, and oh in three God. days. Well, explain. Go- explain. Oh, okay. So what? my mom right now is in a Miss Health and Fitness, uh, in, in a Miss Health and Fitness competition, and the winner um, gets to be featured on the cover of the Hers magazine, which is incredible. And my mom, like, obviously, she wants to be, do it because she, she uh, nominated herself or whatever, and she's she's number one, right? And once. She, she was competing against like hundreds of people. And we just, I just found out that she doesn't win after, uh, after the, the final. She's against like six other people that all won there. Oh. Competing against hundreds of people. So she has to beat the six 
top people. Okay. And I have no idea who they are. Now it's down to six. It's down to six, but. But she's up there. She's so up we there. keep voting. Woo! Yes, yes. And the problem with after this round is that they're going to knock all the votes out and then it's restart. Re, re, they reset the votes. Oh, geez. <laughs> Jeez. reset the votes. Wow. So if you guys can vote again, <laughs> vote and again, again for the people that voted, just vote one more time. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. This is all she's wanted. And I, yeah, she'd be so happy if she won. This has been going on for like months. I, I was, I was telling like, this is a long, why is it? Why is a there a lot, top? A top lot. 12, top 11, top 10. Get to it, yeah. baby. Get to it. A lot of At them. At the end of it, it's going to move spot. to like a top from every state. Yes. I, 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 I really my cousin. hope she gets the cover. I know. I, and, I, and I was talking to my mom. I was like, mom, who are these six other people? She's like, I don't know. Honey. I was like, mom, what if it's like freaking... It's like one of the it's, Victoria's it's Secret models. Like, mom, you're fucked. It's J Lo, <laughs> J Lo, Giselle Bunchin, all J -Lo of them like and in a I was just so curious to see who the other uh, contestants I are. I hope she gets it. I just want to like go to the airport with all the magazines, and she's just right there. I know, there. I know. Oh my, that'd be so cool. Hmm. But yeah, the link will be in the description. Just if you guys can. It's, it's free, I, free vote. You I have think to it's meant it. to be. She's a firefighter. Yeah. Like, that's sexy. She's a, she's a that's, she, she saved lives before. She deserves it. She's a it. hero. She deserves it. But um, yeah, thank you. That's it. That a, was the only plug I wanted to do. A mother, a hero, a model. Mm. That should be her Instagram bio. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> her Instagram bio when she right, wins. I gotta go. I'm like. <laughs> oh, my mom would actually put that in her Instagram. Hers fitness cover, uh, 2023. <laughs> like like what, yeah. what, what athletes and models do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody say bye, Mariah. Bye, Mariah. Bye, Mariah. You stink. We also want to give a little extra love to McDonald's for sponsoring this podcast. You know how much we love our Mickey D's, baby. Mm, baby, I love your nuggets. I love your French fries. Ooh, the I, best in I town. Love, I love the way you taste. And as you guys know, McDonald's has an app now. So if you got a very busy schedule and you don't have time to go inside mm. and, you know, order food and wait, you can order on the app. So by the time you get there, your food will be ready and you can go. Fast food made faster. Exactly. And that's why it's called fast food, baby. Come on now. We love you, McDonald's. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's episode. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning into another episode of Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Mm. Um, you can check out, um, oh, you can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we um, post uh, bonus episodes. We post um, uh, high and drunk episodes. We also post uh, episodes where we leave the camera rolling and we record for another like 15 to 30 minutes or like mini episodes are fun. Um, we also have a private discord. We have live Q and A's. It's just a fun, fun family page that we are all on um, If you uh, for $5 a month. So if you go to patreon.com slash Dana Heath, only $5 mm -hmm. a month and you get everything. And that early access. So you get to see these episodes a few days early and yes. they're all going to be ad free. Um, yeah. yeah patreon.com slash so you don't Zane watch the Heath. stinking ads you can also check out our coffee cremota.com we've got k-cups bagged coffee we have espresso whole or ground beans mm. and we also have our matcha and we have a cremacha starter kit which has all the uh, necessities that you need to make your first cup of matcha um, it's really really good and i know you guys will enjoy it so if you want to check that out Promota.com. Thank you. Um, you can check out this episode audio form every Monday. We post on Spotify app, we, uh, Google app, uh, Apple podcasts, all those other apps. And then um, we post a video version on YouTube every Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. And then right now we're going to jump into the unwind, which we do at the end of every single episode. It's actually called the recline and unwind. Yeah. So that's what we've been calling for the past <laughs> few months. So we're going to keep these cameras rolling and record. Um, and we, we will see you guys uh, soon. Patreon. We lay back. Um, relax. Come on and now. see you at Patreon, baby. All Good right. night. We'll see you guys mm. next week. Peace.